Module 3, Plant Testing Plant Adaptation At the end of this module, you should be able to name specialized structure of terrestrial and aquatic plant and explain the benefits of specialized structure of terrestrial and aquatic plant. For our review, tell what body part of the following animals they use for getting food, body covering, and breathing. Right, frog have elongated tongue for getting food, skin for body covering, and lungs for breathing. That's right, bird uses beak for getting food, feather for body covering, and lungs for breathing. Fish uses their mouth for getting food, having skin or scales for body covering and gills for breathing. Right, lizard uses their mouth for getting food, having scales or skin for body covering and lungs for breathing. Now let us proceed to activity 1. Observe the following terrestrial plants and identify their specialized structures. Observe the squash. It grows long stems that climbs. They have big waxy lips to prevent loss of water and capture sunlight. Lemon grass have pointed sharp leaf blades for protection. Potato stem is inside the ground, which has a thick stem to store food. Banana has big waxy leaves to prevent loss of water and capture sunlight. Pineapple have thorns and spines to protect the sweet inside from insects and animals. Cactus have sharp spines for protection and cubicle stem to stir water. Carrot stop roots are long to hold the stem and adapt in cold weather. Terrestrial plants are plants that live on land. They grow on soil in places like farms, forests, mountains, gardens, and even in pots. Some plants have big trunks while the others have soft and fleshy stems. They use their body parts to survive in their habitat. Activity 2. Identify the specialized structure of aquatic plants. The leaves of water lily are wide, thick, and buoyant. These structures help them float in water. Lotus plants float in the water because of their flat and broad leaves. Tiny hair on the roots and leaves enable the water lettuce to float, making sure that it does not join in its watery environment. Leaf stalks of water hyacinth have air-filled tissues to make it float. They have long roots which enable them to reach the soil underwater. Aquatic plants are plants that grow in rivers, ponds, and under the seas. These plants are the sources of foods and oxygens of animals living in the water. Most plants that live in water are soft, hollow stems and light roots. Some have wide, smooth, and shiny leaves that let them float in water. Activity 3 Identify the specialized structure of terrestrial and aquatic plant. Observe carefully the pictures of Euphobia and Rose. Both have thorns to protect them from animals. Ampalaya and grapes are both vines. They grow long stems and climbs on trellis to protect their fruits. Lotus and water lily floats in water. The leaves of water lily are wide and thick, while the lotus leaves are flat and broad. That structures help them float in water. Specialized structure of plants are important to adapt to their environment. Thorns and hairs are some of the specialized structures of plants. Not all plants have thorns and hairs. Thorns and hairs protect the plants from animals. Roots are used to absorb water and minerals from the soil. Smooth, soft, and fleshy stem can hold enough water. 
10 drills which are tread-like shaped are used by climbing plants for support, attachment and cellular invasion for paralytic plants. That's all for today kids, you may now answer your module. Enjoy learning!